friends happy tuesday i was laying in bed trying to continue to push myself to go back to sleep to see how far i could actually go for and i heard a doorbell ring which is a huge anxiety trigger for me so i sat in bed for 10 minutes trying to make my cameras work outside like who the hell is at my door it's 12 there's nobody that could be here it makes no sense it's somebody that's definitely here to like kill me or hurt me there's there's something sus about this there's no way anybody at my door could be for me right now this is not safe and i grew up for a second and i was like Go look at the fucking door. So I went and I looked at the door. Booyah! So you're currently looking at me in my 1975 robber's shirt that I got from Etsy in February. This was my birthday gift to me. Where is it? Um, but I ordered two shirts, but the UK post was like on strike or something. So this young girl has taken two months to get here, but she's here and I'm so fucking excited. It better blow my mind. This is something I should have had long ago, long, long, long ago. High hopes for this shirt. And like my hopes were up here for it and honestly when i got the shirt i was like okay i love it but it's like here shit's down here so you know it's still fine but i was like it's still a gildan shirt this i think is actual merch from their website but from etsy <laughs> and it better last me forever it better be huge it better be perfect i don't even want to open it because then when i open it it's gonna be done. But at least now I have something to look forward to. There's so much hope in here. There's so much happiness. There is, there's just so much to live for in this little package. And when I open it, it could go south. So we're gonna do it together. Hold my hand. Thank you. You're welcome, Jelly Frog. Thank you. Please use voucher code. What's a voucher code? Please use voucher code Jelly10 to get 10% off your next order with us. Go to jellyfrog.com. So if y'all want this, you heard me. I am excited. I am so scared. What size did I get? Large. Okay, I'm scared to look. I'm scared to look. You guys look first. Does it fit me? Is it extra long? Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna wear it every day. Like, why are the letters like that? <laughs> you can't really tell that that says the 1975. I'm not losing my mind, right? Like, that barely says the 1975 i'm confused <laughs> we're gonna okay i'm gonna put a picture of the shirt here and then we're gonna compare it to what we have what do you think is it me is it me jesus hi it's me baby jesus and it is you caitlin it is you howdy everyone i i'm not gonna lie to you all it is like literally 4 30 in the afternoon and i have left caitlin out on discord in the living room so that i can come in and take this video i am congested and drained <laughs> so i'm hopefully going to be feeling well enough tomorrow to go back to work that'll be nice but um this morning i did a little self tape for an audition and we finished editing last week's video and posted it so if you haven't seen that one yet go ahead and check it out i don't have a whole lot of plans for this evening but if i do make any i'll let you know and i'll take you along with me but for now let's just let caitlin take us somewhere more fun mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. What what is happening? What is happening? He's trolling, right? So I've taken on my least favorite task, which is doing the dishes, but I really need to take a break. I absolutely hate doing dishes more than laundry, more than vacuuming, more than making my bed, more than anything else. I hate doing dishes. I have to wear gloves when I do them because sensory issues, <laughs> but I need to take a break from them for a while. So I'm actually gonna make some supper now. Got some wings and some rice and some corn. But I'm an idiot because I just dropped a wing right down the side of my oven and now it's disgusting down there. And I'm not showing you because you don't want to see that. Just trust me. I feel a little better about dropping my wing earlier because someone came home and did the exact same thing. <laughs> so I think that crevasse between my oven and the counter is just cursed so this is how my day is going so far so my mom is really cool and always brings me food to work for my lunch and sometimes she'll bring me like groceries and stuff too because again she's very cool very kind um and today she brought me some delicious lunch that was chicken parm and pasta and some peas. And she must have watched our last vlog because she left me this sweet little note that says, no thought required. Bless her heart for taking that decision out of my day. I really, really, really appreciate that. Let's see what else she brought me besides the lunch that I've already eaten. Okay, there's what looks like two HelloFresh meals in here. Another note. No thought required, just cook. Love, mama. Give her a kiss. So what do we got for HelloFresh? Listen, we're not sponsored by HelloFresh yet. HelloFresh, hit us up. But this week we have Southern Style Smothered Pork Chop. Say that 10 times fast. And then glazed honey garlic chicken with bok choy and cashews, which sounds really good. The first one has smashed potatoes and broccoli. Also sounds really good. So shout out to my mom. If you're watching this, I hope you're watching this. Thank you, love you. I apologize for the focus. I'm going with the cinematic mode here today and it's not, it's not that it's not good, but I'm not good. That's the end of that sentence. Oh my God, okay. You're never going to guess <laughs> what we found out yesterday. So if you'll remember in last week's vlog, we went to Menchie's and the location that we were at, I was saying, it feels like this place is going out of business. They feel really run down. Like it felt like something was off about it. Like they had no options. Well, lo and behold, this was posted on Facebook and we were proven right. <laughs> that location was indeed closing down. It's probably not that great of a thing for the people whose business is closing down, but hey, it happens, it's all right. Especially since COVID, things aren't as easy. I'm sure a lot of people understand that, but it was a little funny that we were correct. <laughs> so rest in peace to that Menchie's location. It was really nice knowing you. You've provided me with some great memories and some even better frozen yogurt. Anyways, I'm just in my car on my lunch break. What a shocker, enjoying myself some tea. Roll up the rim is back, by the way. Except for you don't even roll up the rim. Is Roll Up The Rim gone already that quick? I'm just realizing now that this is not the Roll Up The Rim cup. But uh, anyways, you don't roll up a rim anymore? Why? Why? I know that there's an app now. Like, I know that that's convenient. But what was, what was not convenient about now? Actually, that being said, I do remember when, like, the old original Roll Up The Rims were a thing that some people got gypped on the bigger prizes if they didn't keep their entire cup because of like some sort of code that was on it or something that they needed to have. So maybe with this whole digital version of it, it actually probably limits that issue a bit more. In that case, I understand it, but I really do miss rolling up the rim. There was just something satisfying about it, like something to look forward to. And now I just go in my app and I swipe up. Q Automatic by Miranda Lambert.
friends, it's Wednesday. I don't really have any plans for today. I'm just watching some Jet Lag the Game now on YouTube. 12 out of 10, recommend. We've got a Family Feud interview tomorrow, so I've got to get ready for that tonight because I've been postponing everything that I was supposed to have done last week. I've got to send them off a collage of everybody that's in our team, which means I have to make the collage of everybody that's in our team. I've got to make a name tag. I have to edit some Cake Smash pictures we did the other day and deliver those for tomorrow. Other than that, I really don't think there's anything that's going to be done today. I've never put butane in a lighter before. I've put it in a, like a torch, but it seemed like it worked in the torch and it doesn't seem like it's working in this. So I'm just gonna video in case. What am I doing wrong? Fuck, I don't think this is gonna work. Okay. I think I figured it out. I think I'm supposed to do it upside down, like this way, not that way. Which still doesn't make sense because I think it works in the torch the other way, but okay. That didn't look safe. For all lighters, all of them, most lighters will need no adapter. Otherwise you select the most appropriate one for your lighter. You didn't come with an adapter. I'm scared. Okay. Who let me adult? Let's do it. Well, who would do this? Rebecca sent me a video of David Spade and Adam Sandler, like accepting an award and talking about Adam. I know I'm corny. And I'm only on part two and there's more to go. Can anybody tell me why this cart does not have a license plate right now? Is that legal? I don't think it's legal. I stopped into Piper's on my way home from work and I just have to say, Piper's is so underrated. They have some cute stuff here. I thought that was pretty cute. I kind of want some new towels, but like $8 for a towel still seems like a lot to me. Okay, these are the colors that I've decided on. What do you think? What a haul I just got at Piper's. I'm gonna show you when I get home. I just got a lot of stuff. You might not be as impressed with it as I am, but it's stuff that I like. I'm excited. Of course, I had to make a stop at the most important place. Can you tell it's payday for me again? <laughs> okay, let's do a quick haul of what I got from Piper's. First things first, I got myself a muffin pan. I want to make things that require a muffin pan. Three towels. Toilet paper. Wipey booty holes. Pillow cover things for like couch pillows. I got three different colors. I don't know if I'm gonna end up actually using all three of these colors, but I feel like they kind of go well together. I just want the couches. Oh my God. I just want the pillows on my couch to match. So they might look really bad, but we'll see. And then I also got just like some food things that you don't care about. family feud audition right now and we are in the waiting room in zoom for it i am terrified i am shaking and i look like a freaking fool bro howdy everyone it is thursday and i'm sure caitlin has already told you but this morning, we auditioned for Family Feud with the Forward fam, Caitlin's family. And it was very chaotic, but I honestly think that's what they're looking for anyways. So everybody cross your fingers that you get to see the Forward fam plus me on Family Feud sometime at the end of this year or next year. I don't know when they air these things. Either way, that's what happened this morning. I am now, shockingly, wow, on my lunch break, I'm gonna go pick up some Boston pizza and I'm gonna FaceTime Caitlin so we can recap everything that happened during that Zoom call. And yeah, we'll catch up with you after.
after I was just saying how much you had left. <laughs> it's okay. I still have a lot left. I just need to do smaller bowls. Yeah. You're going to have no choice now. <coughs> so, hey. <laughs> so, besides your current one, who was my favorite partner of yours? <laughs> everywhere are quaking in their boots the sun is out two days in a row baby two days in a row and it's not even april yet at least it's not the day that i'm filming this i'm on my way to sun sushi on my thing that i don't even want to say the name of anymore because i'm sick of hearing it and caitlin's sick of hearing it and i'm sure you're sick of hearing it but i'm gonna go get it and then i'm gonna come back to the place i also don't want to bring up again because i'm always here the goods have been acquired. I love food. Does anyone else love to play gas tank roulette? Because apparently I do. Don't worry, I'm actually here. I am such a sucker. For anything novelty or limited edition like marie's mini mart gets me every freaking time i come here because they've always got something cool like now they've got these lighters how stinking cute is this first of all and they come in like a bunch of different designs and mozzarella and marinara go wraps go by the way they also had poutine but when i tried that poutine craft dinner that i got it was rotten it was disgusting so now i feel like i'm just like turned off of anything that's poutine flavored but like honestly fair like poutine is the only thing that should be poutine flavored who's that who is that get some players who are at least tall enough to ride a roller coaster i quiet I also realized that I totally forgot to show this in my Piper's haul, but I'm excited. Sorry I abandoned you for the last few days. We're going to do some grad photos for one of my friends and his girlfriend. It'll be hopefully not cold because it's like four degrees today. So I'm hoping that just a sweater and a long sleeve is okay. On two locations, I'm really hoping these are going to turn out very, very nice. Love to get some cute couple photos of them and Rebecca is on her way to pick my ass up right now. We're going to location number one. I'm gonna be really awkward because I'm awkward around everybody. So hopefully Rebecca can take some behind the scenes.
I need to stop waking up and deciding to watch sad, sad, sad TikToks. Like, why do I do this to myself? Hi friends, it is Sunday. Yesterday was fairly eventful. I don't think we got much footage though. We did two shoots. We had a grad convocation couple shoot in the afternoon, which was very, very eventful. Watched some traumatic stuff happen. Then we did our shoot, which put us like two hours behind, an hour and a half behind, which was best kind. It was, it was great. It was a great shoot. Then I went with my friend Amy. This is Amy. Go follow Amy. Uh, to a weary show. This is weary. Go follow weary. I don't know if I told you guys the other day, but we bought some tickets to go see the comedian Jerry D. That's coming Thursday. Me, Rebecca, both of my sisters, and one of their boyfriends. Unfortunately, no videos will be allowed to be taken that night, so we won't be able to show you any clips from that. But I... Okay, so we'll backtrack here. We applied for Family Feud. We had a Family Feud interview. Me, my sisters, Rebecca, my mom, and one of my sister's boyfriends. They told us not to tell Jerry D that we interviewed. Don't tag Jerry D in anything that we post because they want the families to be a surprise for Jerry. I love Jerry D. He is one of my favorite comedians. So he's coming April 6th. I kind of forgot how fast April 6th was coming around. So I saw an ad saying, tickets and I was like oh my god that's next week five of us got tickets and I wanted to shoot it earlier this year but honestly last week I took Jerry D off of my list of shows this year that I'm like shooting because I like comedy shows like that are a little harder to shoot sometimes they just a lot of comedians don't want especially in a theater setting they just don't want photographers there at all but when I took him off of my list I was like I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't just for giggles, send the email. So I sent an email just for shits and gigs being like, hey, I've shot for just for laughs. I've shot a lot of shows for a lot of artists. Jerry's one of my favorite comedians. Like what are the chances y'all want this? And I woke up this morning to 13 emails, one of which said, Caitlin would love that. Let me know your fees. And in my previous email, I was like, I already have a ticket. It is second row. I don't need a ticket. I just need the approval email to send to the ACC. So I am hype city that I have a ticket to this. I get to see this already. My hopes were down and low and non-existent. They then approved me. They want to pay me. And I'll be able to take a little video with my camera. Anyways, back to today. I just got ready to go to a birthday supper, birthday dinner, birthday lunch for my dad. His birthday was Friday. Me and my sisters are going to Boston Pizza right now with him. Then tonight, me and Rebecca are going to a hurricane music party. We love the networking. We love Dave Shears and his beauty girlfriend. Christian. Christian, not Kristen, not Christiane. I just put like the smallest amount of makeup on as you saw and I'm 
debating if I want to do anything with my hair. I don't, <laughs> but I am going to change. Do I want to tuck this? I don't know. What do you think? It's probably going to end up just being untucked. Yeah. Yeah. Incense and Wolverie we'll dolls. Little friends. Little friends. Little friends for little friends. They go into your pillow at night and steal your dreams. Me too. <laughs> Thank you. 